Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. So in our last lesson, we learned about verbs, what a verb was. So what's a verb? A verb is like what, um, a per, like it tells you what a person is doing. A, mm -hmm, a person, a place where a thing is doing, a noun is doing. Yeah, it's the action word, right? So today we're gonna use our verbs, but I'm gonna tell you something called verb tenses. We're gonna learn about a verb tense. And a verb tense just tells you when did the action happen. So there is an action, there was a verb, something happened, and the verb tense tells you when. When did it happen? Okay, that's what a verb tense is. So today we're gonna learn that. And we're going to use some of our pictures of our friends. Okay, so today we're gonna use Damien as our person. And we're going to say a, ver a verb, an action that Damien did, okay? So let's pick an action that Damien did. I remember seeing on Zoom that Damien and Damien's mom drew hopscotch outside. So the action you would do with hopscotch is what? Jump. Jump, that's the verb. Okay, now we're going to learn about verb tenses. A verb tense tells you when this action happened. Did it happen in the past, yesterday? Did it happen in the present, today? Or did it happen in the future? Is it gonna happen in the future? Tomorrow, okay? Yeah. So a verb tense tells you when it happened. So let's go ahead and see how would I write and how would I say that Damien jump yesterday happened in the past. How would I say that? Damien what? Jumped. Jumped. <gasps> Say that again, Damien what? Jumped. Jumped. So it's like writing the same word, jump, but then I have to add something at the end. T. Jumped. It sounds like it's a T, right? Jumped. It's actually E-D. Say that with me, everyone. E-D. E-D e says, sometimes it says T, makes a T sound, mm -hmm. okay? So now it says jumped. E-D tells me it already happened it happened yesterday it happened last month it happened in the past so damien jumped okay how would i say if i want to say damien this today damien jumped today he's doing it right now damien jumps today jumps oh wow damien jumps so the present tense of jump is jumps i added a what at the end i just added an s that's telling me it's happening right now right now it's happening it happened today it's happening today damien jumps that's called present tense okay let's talk about the future tomorrow damien jumps well you can't say jumps but you know how we say it we add the word will jump Mm-hmm, will jump. That's our future. Our future tense says, will jump. So let's read it again. Today, yesterday, Damien. Jumped. Today, Damien. Jumped. Tomorrow, Damien. Will jump. Will jump. Okay, that's past, present, future. Let's do another one. Ready? Okay. Oh, one of my favorite things. And actually, Mr. Bajal's favorite thing. I like it too. And Amita likes it. Bake. What is it? Bake. Okay, bake. When you make something in the oven, you bake. Well, today we're gonna use Sophia as our baker. Okay, so let's say Sophia and use the verb bake. That's what Sophia's doing, okay? So let's say Sophia Yesterday, Sophia jump. I mean, bake, baked, baked. Yesterday, Sophia baked cookies. So let's write bake. And I said at the end we have to have ed, right? It sounds like a t, but it's ed. It doesn't say baked. It does not say baked. It says baked. Okay. Yesterday, the past tense of bake was is baked. The present tense of bake. It's happening today. 
today, Sophia. Bake. Bakes. Bakes. Today, Sophia bakes cookies. Okay, you see that? Bakes cookies. And tomorrow, she's going to do it. That's the future. Sophia, what did we write? Will jump. Will. I mean bake. And her verb is bake. Sophia will bake cookies. Okay, read that with me. Today, Sophia, bake. I'm sorry, yesterday, yesterday. passed. Yesterday, Sophia so bake. baked cookies. Bake. Today, Sophia yeah. bakes, bakes cookies. cookies. Tomorrow, Sophia will bake, bake cookies. cookies. Past, present, future. Okay, let's find another friend real quick. Let's see who else is going to be on our list. I'm just grabbing some, okay? Oh, look at that one. Who's that? Who's Adan. that? That's Adan. Okay, Adan, let's see what verb you're going to be doing. Let's pull one out for him. We have... Oh, this is a good one for him. Respect. Respect. Okay, we're going to say that. Adan shows this to his mom, okay? Respect. So... I'm going to draw some lines here just to make it easier. Okay, guys? There we go. Yesterday, Adan did this to his mom. Respect. Yesterday, Adan, Adan respect, respect. respected. It. Respected his mom. Yeah, that I just tricked him, maybe, huh? I might have tricked you guys too. Because I told you that respect... Sorry, that past has an ed at the end and it sounds like a t. Well, this one already has a t. So it goes respected. Yesterday, Adan respected his mom. That's the past tense of respect. Say that respect. respect. Say respected. Respected. Today, Adan. Um, today, Adan. Put those here. Respect. Respects. I just add a what at the end? S. An S. Respects his mom. Today, Adan respects his mom. Respects is the present tense for respect. And yesterday, Adan. Re I'm sorry, not yesterday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Adan. Will. Will. We're going to use the will. What will he do tomorrow? Respect his will mom. Will respect his mom. I hope all of you guys are respecting your moms and your dads, and grandmas, babysitters, everyone. Okay? So, past tense of respect is respected. Present tense of respect is respects. Future tense of respect is will respect. Do you guys notice a pattern? What's the pattern you see? What do you notice, Emilio? Um, yesterday, today, tomorrow, yesterday, today, tomorrow. Oh, we keep talking about when it happened. Past, present, future. Past, present, future. Yes, let's go down. What do you notice is happening to all the words in past? A. What do we add at the end? Um... What are we adding at the end of the verb? Oh, D. E-D. We're adding an E-D at the end of the verb when we talk about it already happened. What are we adding at the end of the verb? S. When we use present tense. S. S. What do we add to the verb when we use future tense? Mm. What are we adding? Will. We're actually adding a whole word. It says will. Good. Let's try another person, yeah? All right, here's another person. This person is going to learn. That's their verb. Jesus. Jesus is learning, right? That's his verb, learn. So, yesterday, past, yesterday, Jesus learned math. 
Today, present, Jesus. What do I add? S. S, what do I say? Today, Jesus, Jesus learns. learns math. Tomorrow, Jesus will learn, will learn math. Very good. You're getting the hang of it. I hope you guys are getting the hang of it at your house too. I'm going to have you guys do the last one by yourself. Okay, this one. This, what is this verb here? Talk. Talk. Okay, talk. I'll pick another girl now. Oh, look who showed up. Haley. Haley is going to use the word talk as her verb, okay? So Haley's a really good student. She doesn't talk in class unless she's asked to, but maybe she's talking at home. Ready? So past, past tense of talk. Yesterday, Haley. Talk. Talked. Not talking. Okay. No. Talked loudly. Today, present tense, Haley. What does she do? Talks. Talks loudly. Or maybe softly. Tomorrow, future tense, will, Haley. Haley will. Will. Talk. Very good. You're getting the hang of it. So we have ED, S, and will. Past, present, future. Last one. I'm just going to grab the word. Let's see which word it is. Okay. Here we go. Michael. Today we're going to talk about Michael. All right, Michael. Michael, what did you do? Let's see what your verb is. What's Michael's verb? Play. Play. Oh, that's every first grader's best thing to do, favorite thing to do. Play. Let's see if Emilio can do it and see if you guys can do it at home without Mrs. Bourgeois, okay? Play. Michael, play. Ball, okay? Past tense of play. Yesterday, Michael. Played. Played, yep. What do I add at the end? Um, E-D. E-D. Yesterday, Michael played ball. Today? Michael plays ball. Plays ball. I heard you guys at home saying that too. We just add an S at the end. Plays ball. And tomorrow, our future tense of play is? Michael, Michael will play ball. Will play ball. Very good. So our past tense of play is played. Our present tense of play is plays. And our future tense of play is will play. Did you get it? Do you think you learned something today? Boys and girls, you think so? I see some thumbs up. Yes, Emilio, do you think you learned something? Yeah. What did we learn today, boys and girls? Um... Verb, verb tenses. tenses. We learned that a ten, a verb can be said in different tenses at different times, like the past, yesterday, the present, today, the future, tomorrow. And it changes a little bit when you tell me when it happened because a verb tense is when the action happened, okay? All right, boys and girls, thanks for tuning in. And this is going to help your homework. You have two or three pages in your grammar book that have to do with verb tenses, okay? So make sure that you're paying attention to your verb and then what tense it's in. Alrighty? Okay, see you later.